Get your sketchbooks out. Everybody's drawing. That's what it's about. It's what it's about. Quarantine is boring. Quite boring. Get your sketchbooks out. I got my sketchbook out. Lock down life drawing. Hey everyone, welcome to the stream. Hey, hey. little bit of uh, nostalgia there for the lockdown, the lockdown tune. Uh, and it's Wednesday, not Tuesday. <laughs> and we've all got toilet roll, <laughs> hopefully. So welcome. Uh, this is a live art class where you can draw, you can draw along to timed poses with me. Um, this week we're doing figure drawing. So we're back to figure drawing. If you like this session, uh, there's 10 more like it. We did the lockdown life drawing uh, series. Um, you can go on to my YouTube and you'll be able to find this playlist, Lockdown Life Drawing. Uh, and there's plenty more just like this uh, for you to get stuck into as well. So, um, yeah, uh, it's been a little bit of a while. It's been a while since we've done figures. So if you're feeling rusty, if you're feeling a little bit nervous about it, perhaps you're not alone. Okay, I haven't done many figures recently either. Um, but that's okay. You know, we're gonna we're gonna give it our best shot, and we're gonna try and revisit some of the things we did in that course, and um, yeah, just approach it brand new. So we're not aiming for the perfect perfect drawings here, but we're kind of celebrating the human form. Okay, um, so we, we're off the hook. <laughs> uh, you don't need to know loads about anatomy either, um, as the approach I'm going to show you is kind of a little bit analytical. And it's really good for learning as you draw. So each drawing, you know, we're getting better. We're not, you know, it might be frustrating, but we're getting better and we're learning as we go. Um, yeah, materials. I'll show you my materials. I've got this. Uh, I'm going to use these Carbofello pencils, these Sanguine pencils. Any pencil will be fine. Um, and I've got some Strathmore 300 sketch paper too. Uh, but anything you've got to hand. I might use some charcoal um, and a charcoal pencil, General's charcoal pencil too, uh, but see how we see how we go, see how we're feeling. Um, so anything you've got, get your sketchbook out and let's do this, okay? Uh, yeah, let's look at the schedule. Right, figures, ten poses tonight. Okay, so make sure you've got plenty of paper. Might want to do the first quick ones on the same page or a couple of pages, uh, but we got five, five two-minute warm-up poses, nice and quick, just to get us loosen, loosen up. Hi Lucy, hi Anita, hey, how's it going? Good, ready to learn. Um, then five-minute pose, ten-minute pose, twenty-minute pose, that all-important tea break, and uh, stay hydrated. And then we're going to come back and do a slightly shorter one and a, a longer. I think that I think we're going to finish on a twenty minute. I don't know why it says thirty minute, but we'll, we'll probably go over over time. To be honest, <laughs> we'll see how it get, we'll see how it goes. But I'm thinking a longer one to finish off with, and make sure you share your work today. Okay, we've got uh, we've got loads of people joining in live. Hi everyone! Um, if you're watching the recording as well, make sure you share your work too, because we can see it uh, in the community and we can celebrate your work and and it's it's really fun when we get to comment and and mention everyone in our in our in our stories and whatnot so yeah you'll be able to share your work on instagram with the hashtag jake's art club so if there's a piece you're particularly proud of chuck it up there and we'll be able to give it a bit of critique and uh, and celebrate it at the end of this stream so let's i guess we got to jump into it i'm going to show you a few things first of all um holding the pencil so this is this is our first pose. Hey everyone. Uh, and if you're new to this, you, this is this is a sort of the normal um, way to hold a hold a pen or a pencil if you're writing, you know. But I really like to hold the hold the pencil like this, sort of under the hand. Okay, so give that a go now if you haven't tried that already. And the reason we do this is because it gives you so much more movement. Um, the pen holding is is kind of like you're restricted to this area and you're restricted to your uh, knuckles. How we doing? Yeah, a little bit quiet. Yeah, cool, thanks. Uh, and then when 
when uh, we, we use the, hold the pencil under the hand like this, we can, we can pull the pencil towards us to get some nice thin lines and also use the side of the pencil. Look at that, look at that lovely thick and, and get some really nice varied lines there. So this is gonna really help us with our line weight uh, and adding a little bit of interest and, 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 and whatnot to our, to our drawings. Um, I've also got um, a putty rubber. I didn't mention that at the start. Useful for just get, picking out spots of highlights. Um, ah, and I'm gonna talk about gesture a little bit. And gesture, all I really mean is connecting forms. Okay, so, so I've got three, three uh, circles here. The gesture of that is, is, is like that, okay? Connecting them three forms together. So it's the relationship of forms. And we're gonna start with gesture um, and then slowly build out the forms after we've got the gesture there. Okay, and we can go in with darker lines around the edges. And another concept that you're gonna hear me talk about, and what I mean about what I mean by forms is sort of cylinders and and boxes. Okay. And but what you'll hear me say is we're wrapping around the form. Okay, we're following the surface of the form. So what I mean there is, you see the cylinder, we're going around the surface like that. We're following, I'll do a slightly larger one here. So if I'm wrapping around the cylinder, this little Pringles pop, that's what I'm doing, okay? I'm wrapping around to show its, its form, to show its kind of solidity. Um, and, and little lines like this here and there will really, really uh, get our, our drawings punching and looking, looking 3D. All right, let's, uh, let's jump into it. So remember, give it a go. It doesn't matter too much, okay? We're all a bit rusty and we're all a bit um, lockdown fevered, you know? Let's just get back into the, uh... oh, hey, hi, Jane. <laughs> Brilliant. So we're gonna see some of your, your chats there coming up now. Hi George, hi Pretty, hi Hannah, Stephanie. Hey, welcome, first time watching, fantastic. Cool. Right, here we go. Let me just make sure I've got the focus right on the camera before we start. There we go. That should be fixed focus now. Right, so I've given you some quite dynamic poses to start off with, and we've got only two minutes for these. So let's look at that. The gesture of this is gonna be, whoa, you know, really, 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 really quite expressive. So just put, put some lines down, start scribbling the basic forms and the basic uh, movement that you can see. And then maybe in the last part of the two minutes, we can, uh, you know, describe the forms a little bit more. I'll show you what I mean. Here we go, two minutes. Let's do this. So maybe start with the head. Fairly light lines to, to begin with. Let's just get something down. You know, the, the first few drawings always, they're either really good and the best of the night or they're uh, they're the worst, you know, so that we can just get them out of the way. Here we go, let's just try not to draw too much and just get the basic flow. Okay, now let's come back in and see if we can start to describe the form. So you'll notice we've got some, our models are not completely nude because of the YouTube terms and conditions. Uh, and if we go anywhere tonight, if the stream goes down, that's, uh, that's because we've got, uh, we've been reported or something for having nude pictures, which we don't, uh, and we'll be back very shortly. So let's try and wrap around these forms. Look, there's a cylinder there for the leg. Let's just try and make sense of these forms a little bit. Coming in with some darker lines. 
you don't have to do the whole the whole uh, figure just get something down sort of some sort of uh, forms there little belly button notice that part there you got that in your drawing that nice curve there okay we're gonna move on to the second one well done everyone so another pose sort of a ballerina type thing we've got going on another two minutes let's look for that gesture and try and flesh it out a little bit. So I'm gonna do it a little bit smaller so I can fit it on the page. Perhaps wrap an, a line around the head and put on the ear to show the direction of the, the head. But remember, we're just kind of scribbling and trying to show that motion. Don't worry too much about proportion. You know, we can spend hours measuring and getting the proportions right, but if there isn't a nice gesture, then uh, the drawing will be dead. It will be, uh, it will be lost. So maybe a few few parts of the clothes here, like this slight band going around the waist, we can use to help us describe. Sort of. Look at this arm. <laughs> sort of losing my way a bit with this one, but that's all right. The rusty color of the pencil matches how I'm feeling tonight. <laughs> Something like that. What well, pretty says, what do we do to make our lines powerful? That's a good question. So let's look at this next one. And I'll tell you what you can do is uh, looking at when we talk about gesture, you're going for that kind of larger um, uh, uh, concave. Is it concave or convex? We're going, we're going for the large curves. So if you look at this guy here, look at his torso really quick. That curve there on the left, that is that large, you know, we've got that apex on that curve. That's, that's the, uh, the thing we're looking for. And then on the other side, there's gonna be a bit of a pinch. Okay, so as long as you've got some nice, strong uh, curves on the outside of the figure, uh, You'll, you'll be in good hands. Okay, so for example, the leg below that nice strong curve on the outside. Okay, and you'll also find that the figure, there's lots of variety in the figure. So it's not normally, wherever there's a curve, there's a, a kind of a concave and it will follow like that all the way down the figure on the arms and all sorts. So let's have a go at this one. Um, and maybe try and keep in mind them, them large concave uh, lines. So I'd suggest just scribbling a little bit at the beginning, light, lightly with the pencil. And then when you want to give it, you know, have a little bit more power, go in with uh, a little bit more force, more conviction. And we're not, it's important that we're not copying the photo here, okay? 
we're trying to analyze and understand the forms. So here, that 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 chest, that's like a a a, a block curving, you know, twisting to one side. Perhaps cylinder here for the arm. Another cylinder. So they've got they're not just purely cylinders and, and blocks, but they've got they've got organic shape to them. But they're definitely um, when I'm drawing them, I'm thinking about what's the basic shape, what's the basic shape that it is. Okay, last 40 seconds or so, let's go in with some more kind of descriptive lines here. It looks for the darks perhaps, perhaps the shadow areas underneath this armpit. form anyway can we start to convey this chest just kind of the side of the pencil that's it time up time up I think I bring that one down a little bit so yeah we're gonna have a little bit more time shortly and we'll be able to really spend more time on proportions and, and carry on with this. But I think we're, we're, we're in a nice flow. Let's keep up this gestural work. Um, sorry about your blurry screen, Grace. How's everyone else doing? Can you see? Can you see the uh, the picture okay? I might be able to sort out my camera a little bit. Let's go for this next one, two minutes. So what's the, what's the gesture here? Very sort of like an egg or something. Use the ear to show the direction of the head, wrap a line around for the eyes. But let's not get carried away. What's the gesture? Okay, we've got another minute. Thanks, Nick. Oh, good to good to know that it's looking okay. Yeah, maybe um, give your router a refresh or something, or router, router, whatever it's called. can go back with the darker lines you can start to correct what you've done so you'll notice you know the leg is probably a bit out of proportion but something like that and you can come in with that darker line start to describe the forms but also correct yourself Instead of drawing the whole hand, you could just draw a little mitten. Just and then let the viewer fill in the blanks there. Fill in the rest of it with their eyes. Okay, that's two minutes. 
cool. Next one. This is our last warm up. Let's have a go. Nice, difficult pose. Oh, I'm sorry about that, Anne. You could always jump back, maybe during the break, jump back and have a go at the first few. Okay, next two minutes, here we go. So a lot's going on here. Let's just have a bit of fun with this one. What's that movement doing? Once you've got something like that down, it's like a ghost underneath for you to then, then draw upon. Okay, but let's try and make some sense of it now. A minute left. Choose a point and start to wrap over the forms, you see, wrapping maybe the the shirt there can help us wrap over the chest. Look at the rib cage, where the rib cage ends, the stomach comes in at a different angle. Look at that squashing there under the armpit. Try to wrap around. is a very sort of classical way to draw. Starting with a gesture and imagining that form trying to wrap around. That's time up. Give you a few more seconds. There we go. Got some nice gestures. Well done, everyone. Good warm up. Now, next part, we've got a five minute and we're going to try to use that gesture and that energy. And, and let's remember to draw quite lightly at the beginning. And then we're going to spend a little bit more time making sure that that's kind of in, in, in the right places and, you know, in proportion a little bit more time perhaps rendering. It's only five minutes, remember, so not much more, uh, but let's let's have a go. Oh, cool. Okay, new page. Here we go. Anne, are you back with us? Are you, are you defrosted? Any more questions, guys? Keep them coming. It's good stuff. Okay, five minutes, here we go. Okay. So perhaps we can start with the head. The angle of the, of the face. And then do sort of a bit of a Loomis head and find the placement of the ear. And we're, we're disregarding the hair at this point. Very important to get something for the neck in because we can quite easily forget about the neck and then the, the head is, you know, just on a pair of shoulders like that. Like, what is it like? Uh, there was that Adams family or something. There was a guy like that, wasn't there? But let's continue, because I, I, I don't want to lose that, that gesture with the long poses, so let's continue in that same vein. So scribbles 
very lightly, getting something on the page. And while you, as you're doing this, you know, you can use, you, you are kind of measuring, you're using reference points on the page, um, diagonal lines, perhaps implied lines, little tools for accuracy to keep you uh, keep you in check. So here, this this um, um, this knee, I'm looking at that relationship to this shoulder, and I need we need this negative space to be correct, and I want that that angle there to be correct. You know, if that knee was too high up, if that knee was there, we're going to have big problems later on. So little things like that, keep constantly checking around, around the figure. You can see quite a lot of the rib cage and everything. And this is what I mean. You don't need to know anatomy to do figure, good figure drawing, because it's all it's you know most of it's there for you. It's good. It will, will definitely help. But if you're you know if you're out of practice or something, or if you're just starting out, it's absolutely fine. You know I've, I've got to be honest. All my anatomy knowledge has pretty much gone out the window. But there's a lot of information there. We can analyze it, and we can. We can go re start to relearn. Right. Time's going quickly, isn't it? Spending too much time. Okay, let's start making some some forms to try and encapsulate this form here. Look at these darker lines. So here, when when the when the bed or, or something is covering the the model, just be confident and put the put the thing that's covering the model here in. Okay, don't don't try and guess. It's it's good to have some, the the model grounded on uh, on an area and start to put in lines. Indicating the difference between light and dark. Pretty, I'll try and think of some beginner tips as well. is coming okay that's the five minutes well done everyone brilliant thank you Pantu Krator uh, look forward to seeing your submissions right 10 minute pose next now I think this is a really nice image I think 10 minutes is a little bit a little bit better if you can really get stuck into the drawing. A little bit less complicated, you know, quite a simple pose. Here we go. Okay, 
guidelines for the for the eyes, for the nose, for the mouth. Look at where they are intersecting on the whole of the head. Okay, so eyes are normally halfway down the head, but this guy's looking downwards. So we're going to have even more for, uh, forehead and, and, and hair above that. Ears are going to be way higher up the, 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 he the head than we would normally normally draw them. Okay, let's not get stuck on details. Let's go for this chest. So here I'm going to, I'm going to, because it's quite a, a bold, simple figure. I'm going to go for more of. The, blocking in straight line approach. It's really important to get these angles correct and then look at what they line up with. So I know that the head comes out further than the shoulder. So the shoulder's gonna end a little bit sooner than I imagined. And then look at that angle again from that arm coming down. Mustn't put on the features too soon. Because I was in the wrong place. <laughs> okay. Line to connect the nipples. that center line of the, the chest try and follow that down see how I'm using straight lines even though they're curved curved surfaces quite often straight lines are you're going to be much more accurate with them. And then you can curve off, you know, you can round off the lines uh, later on. Got a bit of an issue here with the, the shoulders. I think this shoulder should be much higher up. Features come down further than I anticipate every time. A lot further than I think. Okay. <laughs> Grace. <laughs> uh, oh, we, we didn't start the timer. What are we doing? All right, well, I reckon we've got another five minutes. What do you think? Let me know how long it's been. <laughs> Gray squash toads, really? <laughs> I've not heard that one before. So now I've got a, a basic lay-in uh, with, the, with the straight lines. I can start to curve the edges, you know, put in darker lines where there is shadow. So in between these lines here, whether whether there's shadow in that, that arm, I'm gonna put darker lines. Perhaps where the body's touching the light, I'm not gonna put so many dark lines, you know, less is more. Um, but I'm also now looking at following a, over the form and looking at the difference between light and shadow. So I can start to trace almost this wavy line that's going over the form. And look at that cast shadow there from the, from the, uh, the peck and the nipple. 
really important I'm getting that okay and then and then again I'm gonna have a core shadow here work out what that belly button is so that line there is going to be so instrumental when I come to put any shading in or even you know even if I didn't shade it but we've just got that line um, I'm gonna look at making this a little bit less bright so we can see slightly more there we go so that line there is really really descriptive and look there's a touch of light there touch of light touch of light there really important and the face as well you know I could just sort of outline the features you know fair enough but what's really nice about this pose and the, and the lighting of this is that then dark patches so let's put that in let's trace that patch of darkness there looking at the shadows and that's going to tighten up your drawing you know that's going to if you start stop thinking about it's a face and these are eyes but instead this is an area of shadow this is an area of light that is going to really tighten up your drawing uh, and correct plenty of mistakes um, a little bit of suggestion of curly hair perhaps let's start putting in a bit of shadow and you can you can use the side of the pencil perpendicular to the shadow for a nice core shadow so you can come in like that and be quite Quite bold with that line and just block in the shadow there quite a lot of contrast here in the cloth of the trousers give you a couple more minutes hey Michael thank you cheers man happy birthday for the other day hope you're doing well thanks man yeah I've been going for a year now well no February this year we started I think we worked it out the other day. We've done 45 hours of live stream, which is kind of mad when you think about it. Thanks everyone that's joined in. So yeah, I don't want to put too much don't want to overwork this too much sort of in the in the shadows but just see if you can you know if, if you're putting something down what's the purpose of that what's the purpose of that area of tone what's the purpose of that line you know it's got to have a reason otherwise it's just excess you know and so let's get rid of them straight lines and put some more descriptive lines down this side of the body and I think we'll call it there. As this was only a 10 minute pose, wasn't it? So I always say to people, be really mindful of the little, the kind of subtle changes on the skin. If you're doing the outline of, a, of, a, of an arm or something, it's not gonna be, you know, like this, perhaps. It, there's gonna be 
a little bit of subtlety, a little bit of muscle, a little bit of variation. So really observe for that, really look for that. And, and you will, uh, you'll, you'll have these, these wonderful, um, wonderful, um, kind of, what's the word? Varied lines. Yeah. More varied. That's, that's such a key thing. Looking for variety. Okay. We'll leave it there. Um, Great, well done everyone, 10 minute pose. Just gonna have a little sip of water. And we'll jump into the 20 minute, 20 minutes. I like this sketch, I might come back to it after the stream. Okay, sorry about that. Next pose, let's do it. So we've got some good lighting. Another nice pose. So we got, we got the elbow cut off there a little bit. That was just the, the reference was like that. But we can, well, we can just, maybe she's standing next to something, you know, so like, and we can just draw something in. But I thought there was some lovely shadows, some lovely light on the on, on the body, and and um, you know especially the abdomen and abs and the and the arms and everything. Let's give it a go. Twenty minutes. Time has started. Here we go. Another fairly simple pose, isn't it? And just by looking at it, her head looks quite big. Hood looks quite large, so let's keep that keep that in check. We don't want it to end up really, really big or really, you know, too small. So I'm still going to start with gestural lines, but being much more deliberate. Okay, taking my time with them, because we've got time. Yeah. Stephanie, where, what would you normally start with? Some people say it's good to start with the the um, the body, you know, the torso, and then build build from there. But I think the head is a good kind of measurement tool. Uh, it sets the scale for the drawing more or less. What's the gesture that's coming in here? Yeah, the early stages you can just be have 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 fun with it. You know, it doesn't have to be too stiff. You know, have fun with it. Nice and loose, nice and light lines. That's a really good way to start, Stephanie, actually. Um, I, I, I sometimes do that as well. You know, if there's someone standing up and there's a, there's a vertical line or something, really sticks out to you. Really good anchor point, really good place to start. Um, yeah, very good. And I would, I would recommend even having, wherever you start, even having a, um, a central line that you, you're kind of using as a reference. So what could we use here? Maybe, maybe her neck here, where we can use a line. And then, so we can put that line on. And, you know, you could put your pencil up, close one eye 
put that against the model and you can use that as a guide so you know everything that needs to be that side of, the, of that line and everything that needs to be that side and you can start to check the distances from that line as well so again that's just another kind of little tool we'll, we'll do some of that in a minute so how are people getting on with the sketching are you feeling really rusty or you're surprising yourself or how's it going I can't wait to get back to proper life drawing classes next year I think it's all everything's sort of calmed down a little bit it's safe really have missed that drawing from life so so key um, and that's what kind of what I'm wanted to get across today was even though we're drawing from a photo we need to kind of use our imagination to, to see the forms and to imagine that it's a real model because if we're just copying it you know like a like a photocopier like a photograph we're not learning uh, and when you're when you're in a life class you're forced to kind of work out the, the this 3d object in front of you um which is so so valuable so if we could kind of emulate that you know if we can try our best to to do that today then we're whatever we draw you know however rusty we are or however they come out we're, we're learning and um and that's that's important and having a bit of fun negative space not right there look that that line has got to be more steep so negative space really quickly the space around the object that's around a figure so here this triangle look at that triangle it's been created by the model there that then the lines on that and the shape of that triangle needs to be more or less right just at the beginning you know and then we can, um, then we can. Once things are more or less in the right place, we can uh, be a bit freer with them. Shoulder looking a bit thick. Let's bring it down. Just a few portion changes and bring the head down it's them little guidelines you see for the face before we put too much work in uh, and and kind of get the proportions wrong yeah, before you put the, fe the features in and get it all wrong just put some little guidelines and you can always come back and change them change them if necessary okay so we've got a, a more or less blocked in shape now let's rub it out a little bit and just really start to feel the form and over overlap wrap around it and look for the shadows Nick brilliant it's great to be drawing with you I'm so happy you're enjoying I'm sure before long we'll be back uh, drawing it in a, in a real class with some real models Keep the hope. <laughs> you know, this is getting us through. <laughs> Love your um, typewriter work recently. Just blows my mind. Nick's fantastic at creating images from 
abstract letters on a, on, on old typewriters and just yeah no idea just do a live stream and show us how it's done <laughs> lots of hours i think right what we're doing we're looking for the 3d nets for the form so at the beginning when i talked about cylinders and, and cubes let's look for them wrap around lines and any any blocks we can use little you know sort of square lines like this you know perhaps a block for the wrist just anything that we can do to accentuate form let's do it and actually the the um, bra here is not a bad way to show form so we can put them lines in there creates a really nice sort of shape look out from that to correct Oh, thanks, Becca. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you're having a good Wednesday. It's a block form. Perhaps that's a bit dark. But let's show some wraparounds on the on there on the on the cylinder of the the arm. <gasps> Pardon me. I always get the hiccups or, or like a burp reflex when I'm doing a live stream. <laughs> I have no idea why. I'm not usually this kind of uh, disgusting in real life. Brilliant, thank you.
reminds me of you enjoying don't forget to smash that like button that really helps us out gets people to the stream and if you've got questions let me know outlining some shadows I might come in and do a little bit of shading but I quite like the, the line work of this where it's not too too tonal it's not too heavy on the shading you don't always have to like render a piece completely you could always just kind of reinforce the, the core shadows and, and then the eye fills in the blanks. So I've said that already, haven't I? Try and tackle this face now. Thank you, Carolyn. Hope you're doing well. It's good to see you on the stream. She's got a really lovely shape to her lips. And look at the occlusion shadow where the lips touch. We can put that in first. And then perhaps a shape for the top lip. Just look for the shadows. It's as simple as that. Look at that bottom lip. That's very, very bright in comparison to the to the shadow there. Less is more, so it's not fiddle around too much. Sorry, you can hear some voices. My neighbors are playing ping pong. 
That's not a euphemism. That's actually got a ping pong table. Three seconds. Cool, we'll leave it there, guys. in here just for a bit of fun but yeah let's call it let's call it there well done everyone yeah Mike that's really true and boiling down the, the any form any any subject into simple geometry simple forms um, and it's a really good way to to start you know so you're seeing the bigger picture um, I can see now you know there's a few few things even that have gone a little bit wary now but in this drawing but if we didn't start looking at that bigger picture and 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 try and think of the forms um, there's much less chance of us checking and, and getting them getting them right um, yeah I mean sort of looking at the the deltoids and everything it's really gonna it's really gonna help help your uh, help your knowledge your anatomical knowledge but I think even if you don't have and and that and and sorry an anatomical knowledge you can still analyze these photos and still gain you know so much from them like that the structure there of abs and everything and and yeah I, I, you're so right it's just a good way to be thinking um, cool let's take a let's take a five minute break and when we get back grab a grab a tea grab a glass of water or something there's a little there's a statue on on the break screen so if you want to keep drawing you can uh, you can have a sketch of that i'll be back in five minutes and when we get back we've got two more poses a 10 minute and a 20 minute oh before we go don't forget to share your work hashtag jake's art club uh and don't don't forget to mention me as well jake jake bustle art dot art um on instagram and we'll start to start to get some of your submissions in and we'll be able to look at them a little bit later. Really excited to see your work. Um, see, you in, see you in five minutes.
Tuesday night, work is done, can't go out, Lou rolls gone, kettles on, put your kettle on, pencils out, news is off, got take out, spend all night with good friends, best friends, life drawing till the Get your sketchbooks out Everybody's drawing That's what it's about Quarantine is boring Get your sketchbooks out Lock down life drawing Ooh Ow. Get your sketchbooks out Everybody's drawing that's what it's about. It's what it's about. Quarantine is boring. Quite boring. Get your sketchbooks out. I got my sketchbook out. Lock down life drawing. We're on mute. There we go. We're back. I've said I've got my after eight. I'm ready. 10, p 10 minute pose and a 20 minute pose. Let's do this. I hope you're all refreshed. Got some water. Um, okay, let's do it. What's the, ah, yeah, this pose. Now I, I, I chose this one because of the, the lighting effect and I love it when, when, uh, kind of the, that kind of blind light, you know, a uh, light streaming through blinds is incorporated into into a, a picture and the way it kind of lays on the figure. And I thought that we could just give it a go. We could give this give this a try, a little bit of a wild card. Uh, and it's a nice pose, but it's got a nice bit of, bit of difference of light there. So let's give this a go, 10 minutes. Um, and yeah, maybe, maybe we could do, we could start with some charcoal or something and then rub out the the highlights. I think that's what I'm gonna do. That wasn't planned, but yeah, let's do that. Let's, so 10 minutes, let's have some fun with this one. Nice bit of light. So I'm gonna start with putting in the field of, of light. I need to get some tissue paper. Let me go get some tissue paper. I'll be back in a sec. Hey, hey. So I got some tissue paper just to rub this charcoal in. going a bit off piste here. I'm gonna block in the shadows, which they're not there are not a lot of shadows, but they're the bra and the the shadow by the legs is is there, so let's go for that.
bit of shadow here for the hands. directly now seeing if we can make sense of this it's been a while since I've picked up some charcoal Lovely medium. space there could do with a lot more the angle of the, of the arm So I can't commentate on this too much because I'm not, wasn't totally planned, just having a, having a go with the charcoal. Can't wait to see what you guys have been doing. Make sure you send them sketches in. Again, we've got a problem with that. The great thing about charcoal is just dust on paper. You can rub it, you can move it around to your will. She's looking a bit strange, isn't she? Looking a bit contorted or something. Oh well. Gotta take risks.
Okay, I think the sound's back. Um, let me know if it's not. But yeah, just I uh, <laughs> always seem to mess up after the break, don't I? Right, let's put some of these light strips in. minute so yeah I think my proportions are out let's just grab a charcoal pencil and see if we can fix it a little bit that one's a bit hard maybe a bit a bit more leg there Kind of captured that feeling that I wanted with the with the shadow there. Kind of captured something. I think uh, I think it looks a bit laboured, you know. But yeah, fun little sketch. Got light coming through. Cool. Now on to our last pose. So a twenty minute to finish off. Uh, don't forget to share your work with the hashtag Jake's Art Club. Let's do it. Last one. So we've got, ah, oh, this is a great pose. So we've got this guy, some nice back muscles. You know, not, nothing, it's nothing too scary. We, we haven't got like lots of foreshortening or anything, but we've got nice amounts of shadow and nice bits of, of muscle tone. So yeah, I think this is going to be a good one for us to get into for this 20 minutes. I um, hope you enjoy. And there's the timer. Okay.
quite a lot of um what's the word sort of contortioning or something or just just twisting of the body so we've got to make sure we get that look at that that them shoulders boom almost straight at the top and then this pelvis at a real angle so it's important that we get that curve of the body there mm, little things like lining up the elbow with you know the ear or wherever it lines up with the head um, yeah let's have a go so we've got more or less a straight line at the bottom of the pose locking in start with the box and block out some of the shape just at the beginning so we know the head is going to touch somewhere like that the hands are there the foot's here see so imagine this this is a slab of marble or something and I'm I'm cutting into it now cutting out all of the negative space it's just to give me a bit of a head start with this pose So starting with the gesture is very kind of Renaissance era. And then this is this kind of blocking in approach is more academic, um, more sort of, yeah, more modern uh, academic schools. Um, so you noticed here, we've got the the head here and I almost put the bum in line with the head Can you see that but actually the bum is shifted to the, to the left so little things like that really going to be key in making sure we've got a good bit of um, proportion and Personally, I like a mix of both styles where you've got you've got gesture, you've got a bit of anatomy, but you've also got this very visual checking, you know, accuracy tools to help you.
Let's get a bit more gesture in it now. Let's get a bit more feeling. So follow the spine. It's almost like two ways of thinking, two ways of drawing, working in tandem and taking the best of both. That's the idea anyway. I'm more or less happy with my block in and then a little bit of um, more kind of gesture and overlapping on the, on the forms. You see, I'm thinking that that's a cylinder there, getting the form of the rib cage, the back of the rib cage and these muscles. And now I'm gonna rub out all of the, all of the lines. The pencil is called a it's called a Carbofello uh, and it's a sanguine pencil. I've put the link in the description. And uh, there's all, these two are actually slightly different. There's all different reds that you can get. And you see this one's slightly darker. But you know, any, anything this color, sanguine kind of blood color, I think really, it gives that nice kind of traditional effect. And if you draw, draw on slightly tinted paper as well, like a, um, like a brown or gray, that really is where it does its magic. Yeah, I really, really like that. And you can add a little bit of, little bit of a chalk pencil um, here and there for a little bit of highlight. And, and the two together looks really, really special. Hey, Elora, yeah, you can watch the stream at any time. Okay, it's gonna be available um, forever <laughs> until the YouTube servers go down, I'm sure. Or unless I make a make a fool of myself in the next half, then I might take it down. You never know. But um, no, that's no, going to be available. So I'm going to now rub out all the guidelines. And and also there's I mentioned at the start. There's lots of other live streams on my channel and lots of figure drawing ones as well. If you search for lockdown life drawing, uh, I put the playlist for that in the description too. But each week we go for a different, um, a different technique or a different uh, fundamental and look at that in, in more detail. It's probably better for beginners. Um, we're just sort of doing a bit of a refresher today. So, gonna rub out some of these lines, you know, just make them a little bit less intense. But I've got all of the information there on the page. And this gives me the chance now to really go at this drawing. Everything's there, but I can really go at it with some kind of expression 
and more subtlety in areas. So, just start with the darks, start with this crease here. And really try to follow the, remember any subtlety that you can see. And that's muscles and bones underneath the skin that are going to be changing, uh, changing the shape of it. It's a good chance to correct your work too. So I see that that line should probably join up a little bit sooner than that. Thanks, Teresa. Great, I really hope you enjoy. Make sure to uh, show us your work. I'd love to see when you have another go. Okay. So remember, not, not using the full force of the line everywhere, but trying to reserve it for the shadows, what's happening here, there's this interesting point on the arm. And you see this crease on the wrist, really important. I'm going to choose to use that to show the shape of the wrist. Perhaps just pick out a few shadows on the hand, not put too much detail in, but let the eye fill in as much as possible. Using that pulled side of the pencil for for the core shadows. So the core shadow is that darkest part. That darkest part, let's say we've got a ball. That there is the core shadow, light's coming this way. And everything past that bit will be in shadow, but that's gonna be the darkest part of the shadow. Have a little bit of half tone, but that there, prepping round, is the core shadow. And notice I'm going uh, quite perpendicular to the form. So if it was a cylinder, I'm going across the form like that. I'm not wrapping round. I can wrap round. That's absolutely fine. But just I, I think it's nice. It's very confident. Get the side of the pencil and just perpendicular down there and you can block in the shadows and leave a little bit of reflected light um, there as well. Okay, back to the figure. So I felt I was getting a little bit trapped in one area doing and doing kind of a bit too much detail, so let's Take a breath and try and see the whole picture a little bit more. It's important we get the spine here in the middle of the body. It was shifting across too much. doing the second there just check everything you know double checks so I was checking the height of the pants there against this elbow just keep checking outline shadows
Hey, Ella. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Shalom. So I think I need to get a bit more room for this feet. I think I've been a bit shy on the on the on the area for that. So it's above above that bum line where the foot is. There's a nice bit of negative space between the bum and the uh, and the foot and look at that space there too but not only that we want to think of the form of the foot so let's imagine a block at the back of the of the foot and then that bottom plane you can see the whole bottom plane of that foot there. Let's put that in. And that's that, that understanding of the form. Again, we've got a nice visible block for the foot, for the bottom plane of the foot here. Just blocking that shape as if it's got a sock on, you know, it's not, we don't have to draw the toes and everything. And again, they, they still look a bit small, but I'm really, I'm running out of space here, so I'm subconsciously making them too small. What I might do is just take away some of the darkness of them so that the eye isn't drawn to that section too much. Now let's put on some, some shadow. Just gonna do some directional shadow, just we haven't got much time. looking for areas, little kind of traced areas. Try and look at what the muscle is doing. You know, make sure you're not mindlessly shading, but you're shading for a reason. I'm trying to describe muscle. Time up, isn't it? Great, this is my favorite part, guys, getting to see your work. So, nice little touches. 
and don't forget to send your work in so don't forget to share the hashtag Jake's Art Club on Instagram and we'll be able to see them in the next few minutes uh, great thanks so much guys that was great that was really good fun um, yeah I really enjoyed that it was good to be back to the figure and um, I was a bit scared to jump into it oh look my um, elbow is a little bit high can you see that I mean, not the elbow, the, the knee. It's a little bit high. Do you remember we mentioned that at the beginning? Let's bring that down just a tad. Just a tad. Um, but yeah, really good fun. Let's have a look at the sketches that we've done. So there's the final one. Perhaps would have liked a little bit more time for rendering a little bit more of that. Um, kind of 3D form. It looks a little bit linear. You know, I've, I've done some really dark outlines and I would like to see that, especially here, I'd like to see that incorporated with the um, with the piece a bit more. You know, maybe I can uh, lighten up some of them lines here and there just to make it look less like a traced outline and more of like an interesting, interesting line around the figure. And then... Oh, we had to go with that with that shadow on the figure, didn't we? That the blinds through there, and a few perhaps proportion errors, but I think the concept is there. I was quite quite happy with just a little study, a little something different. Um, then we got the the um, the what was this? Another twenty minutes. So we didn't really shade much there, but we left quite a few lines describing form and also almost alluding to shadow. So for example, here I've put the, the, uh, the um, what's it called, the, the core shadow in, but I haven't blocked it in. And, I, and sometimes that's okay to do, you know, you don't need to uh, completely render every image. A little bit more blocking in with this one. And we looked at the shape the, the shadows of the face and the shadows that the were that were being cast on the body. Um quite some, some valuable lessons I think. A little bit of contrast on here. His face almost needs to I think needs to shift over this way a little bit. It's too central. Um but yeah, not 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 too bad I guess. And then and then we got the warm ups, which was a lot of fun. So if you missed any of these, uh make sure you go back and do these warm ups because they really do help get you kind of like in the in the swing and uh, yeah thank you so much so hopefully by now some of you have sent some some of your images in don't forget Instagram hashtag Jake's Art Club and we'll be able to see them um, just want to thank our Patreons everyone that supports the channel um, really appreciate it you know um, it's it's incredible that you choose to to support what what we do here and um yeah thank you so much um it's great to see some of you in the chat and and joining in today as well and um and i know some of you join in on the recording so hey <laughs> um thank you right let's sort this out we had a bit of a trouble with it last week but i'm gonna refresh and fingers crossed yeah oh these are beautiful we've got some lo we got loads okay so keep them coming in guys and I'll, I'll refresh the page a few times but let's let's have a look so just so you know it's hashtag jake's art club it's on my profile you can click on it there and if you just put that next to your image on like a comment or in the description it will show up in this gallery and we'll be able to see it now here we go let's have a look at some of these pictures great thanks jane Thanks. So it was a quite a chilled one, wasn't it? It was quite cool. Um, I've got, I've actually got a, a neck, another session planned. So I'll tell you about that after, after this. But we're going to do, we're going to do master studies. Really good, really really good. But I'll get into that after this. Let's have a look. Wow! Look at this, Nick. Oh, the, Nick, these are fantastic. Really like this one on the right really like that subtlety of shadow and getting that cast shadow uh, these are these are really confident nice I like it a lot and it's really good to be back drawing with you um, thanks for joining um, 
Thanks for sending it in. What have we got here? Janie B. Oh, I love it. Lovely five minute sketch. Blocking in that hair, getting some nice proportions. Really well done. Really nice. Um, another Janie B. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for sending them in. Nice bit of hatching. Again, looking at them shadows, really key. I think really key takeaway from today is looking at them shadows, but not not only kind of tracing the shadows and tracing the image in a way, you know, with our eyes, but but also trying to understand the form. And I think I think I can see a bit of that here, you know, on the shoulder and 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 on the arm here. I would have liked to have seen maybe a wrap around, you know, to to, to accentuate the form even more. Uh, but his his muscle tone was 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 good, a lot better than mine, but it was fairly subtle in that light, wasn't it? And I, and I think you've you've achieved that nicely, that subtlety and then that shadow uh, shadow shape. Really good. Oh, and another one, and we've got some more of that tone coming in. Nice bit of, nice bit of um, tonal work. Really, really lovely. Good. It's funny how when we think of life drawing, we think nude models, but actually having uh, you know, a bra or, or pants or something on can can really show the form of the of the of the body as well. Um, and we didn't get taken down. Thanks, YouTube. <laughs> so oh, we got Cheryl, lovely. Oh, this is great. Very nice. Like his little rendering here. Very nice. Look, I can see you're looking for them shadows. On the face, you've left that light there on the on the nose. Nice, I really like this. Sort of, I can feel the form here on the elbow. So good, good, good job. Buddy Pen, good to have you on the stream. Back to figure drawing, yeah. Love this. Ah, oh, that's a really nice spread. Awesome. Oh, I can see it over here as well. I really, you know, this shading, this is really coming together. This one's got some real form about it. You know, I can feel the chest in 3D space. I can really kind of, I can, not not just the breast, but the whole, the whole kind of torso area. I can, I can, you know, and that's telling me that you're visualizing it and you're, and you're, you're imagining that in, in 3D space as if it was from a real model. So that's what we're looking for. And this is just, some really nice, nice rendering. Really good. What have we got here? The free eyes. Hey, thanks for sending it in. <laughs> yeah, takes takes it out of you, doesn't it? What have we been drawing for two hours or something? It's good. It's good to be focused and just to get in there and to just draw um, and not think about the news or anything else, isn't it? I really like this this uh, little detailing on the on the. On the clothes and your your use of charcoal is lovely. You know, just a little bit of um, a little bit of smudging or some a bit of rendering there, and it's really brought out form. A little suggestion of the the tattoo as well, and this is good. This has got something about it. It's it's kind of a bit moody, but I really like the 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 chest. You know, the, the muscles you, you're really observing, really picking out the light and everything. Um, so we yeah, are really competent, really nice. Really good. And have you been sharpening your pencil with a scalpel? Hope so. Um, point taken. Trying to be bolder with shadowing. Well, I think mission accomplished. Look at that. Look at these lovely. So we've got a little bit of reflection here, but I can imagine that these shadows are actually you know, quite well observed and you've got, you've got that ab, you know, uh, shadow shape taken in. What, what I would suggest is try to perhaps lightly trace the shapes of, of shadow that you can see and then be bold and go in with them. And that might've been what you've done here and, and well done. And, but look at that arm, you know, that lovely dark line, thick line there in the shadow side, and then a light line where the light's hitting it. Perfect. Very well done. Um, that's that kind of less is more, and being really descriptive with, with with you know not many lines at all. So very well done. 
What have we got here? Mrs. Flower. Ah. Carol. These are nice. Really good proportions. Really good proportions. Um, this is, you know, for five minutes, really nice, really nice and competent. I don't think I got anywhere with my five minute one, did I? I was still in that sort of scribbly mode, but these are really looking nice. And, and um, yeah, this guy had a real sort of chunkiness about him. Perhaps some of them straight lines have helped out. Um, uh, really good drawings. I, I like this. This 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 is you know good shadows. Um, the only thing I would say is perhaps this side of the body um, we can be a, even more liberal with the shadow uh, because he was kind of he had one side light, one side dark, uh, and you know if we can capture that even more, uh, it would it would describe the form. But really, really well done. Um, what have we? Oh, we got loads here. All right, we'll try and get some trip through some artwork. Zero five one one. Tim sketch. This is good. Uh, nice, nice, confident lines. Really nice. Sort of exaggerating here and there just to bring out some form. Good face. You know, really, really like, really like that formation here and you've you've done well to keep the face over to the side of the face you know it was over the side of the head uh, very easily we can just put it in the center and forget about kind of the 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 positioning and the, and the direction of the of the face so this is nicely done um another one by tim lovely bit of Kirby lines. This it was it was a funny pose, wasn't it? Really, we had some shortening. We had some different things going on, um, and it was uh, kind of tricky to get the the the, posi the positions right. But this is nice, and and you you've really gone into detail on the on the bra, which is yeah, I like that. It was it was uh, it was it had a good texture, didn't it? it had a good sort of what else have we've got? Batty pen again. Thanks for sending them in. Uh, yeah, no, it's good. I, I think that is it. I, th I I had this this problem today where I was kind of being stuck by the, the shape of my page. Now I'm just thinking, perhaps where you've got the edge of the paper, perhaps you've gone a little bit small on the hands and the and the and the and the feet where you tried to fit it into the page. Um, you know, maybe subconsciously, because that's I do it all the time. Um, and I think one thing I'd say is just draw how it. Let's draw how it should be. And if it goes off the page, so be it. You know, like just let that happen. Um, so that's m maybe one thing to be aware of. But um, it's a, it's it's nice. It's, I like the proportions. Uh, you know, going this way and. And a nice bit of shadow, a nice bit of, you know, being, getting them subtle muscle tones. Good stuff. Really good stuff. Who have we got here? Mrs. Flower again. A couple of sketches. Wow, look at that. Lovely bit of light. Interesting way. You know, I'm, there's so many different ways we can render that. I've wanted to sh chuck that your way as like a curveball. This is lovely. I might bring out some poses in the future with light you know kind of being more following more of a contour of the of the body um these are nice these are really really good and you've you've kind of got the, the the width to height ratio of this of this really quite quite well here we go inarticulate artist oh thanks for joining again thanks for sending them in this is nice this is really lovely you've got Sorry, I need to put not put the mouse on it, don't I? Put up the Christmas tree today, and now I'm covered in glitter. <laughs> did that affect your drawing ability? Did it? Did, as you were drawing, was there sort of glitter everywhere? This is this is really nice. What jumps out to me on this is the hands. You've really done well in describing them, sort of, you know, up against the body, wrapping around the body. Um, 
and that's probably one of the trickiest bits as well and and you know it's it's a lovely little sketch the hands especially are really well done um lovely little face you know minimal um yeah fantastic what have we got here uh, another one by Janie B love bit, lovely bit of rendering a little bit more a little more developed piece well done and another one by an articulate artist see see but you did the hands fantastically here you know what's going on what's going on <laughs> now you 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 you're doing the right thing you know looking for the shadows looking for that kind of uh, if you can squint at the hands a little bit and just and put in them shadows and 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 act, you know perhaps just get that mitten shape and then go for the shadows. What are people saying? A great class. <laughs> thanks, Anita. Uh, thanks, Jeanette. Thanks, Hannah. Uh, Stephanie. Oh, that's Stephanie. Um, brilliant. Right, I'm going to refresh and see if anyone else has posted since we've been since we've been talking um whoa where were we up to before where were we up to i can't see where it was that one we've seen this one's new the free eyes again thanks i'm i'm really glad you enjoyed it um, you know, there, as I said, there's lots of streams on my channel. If you haven't seen them, uh, seen other, the other life drawing streams, um, plenty of plenty of good stuff there, um, and, and 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 different different learning points. This is this is wonderful. This has got some kind of expressionist feel to it, where there's more than just the figure. You know, it's got it's got a bit of emotion to it, and that's that's really nice. Yeah, this this top right part with the muscles, the lines, the little bit of tonal work. There's something there that is just really spooky and 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 really intriguing. Um, and you know, I just want to keep looking at it. So it's really really nicely done. It's funny how sometimes you can surprise yourself with like a part of a drawing or or a, maybe the the first drawing you do in the of the of the evening can be the best one. All sorts. Um, oh Thomas, thanks for joining again. Thomas was the 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 guy that drew them amazing cars last week, and he's not bad with figures as well. Look at this; this is great. Okay, lo love the you know your, your nice use of shadow, little bits of contortion and um, sorry pinching here on the fabric and everything. And, and looking at them planes, you know, underneath the feet. Really well done. Art and afternoon tea. Thanks for sending it in. This is wonderful. This is great. Nice bit of, you know, kind of chunky muscles and, and, and understanding the form. Lovely. Guys, thanks so much for sending these in. Um, it's, it's, you know, so fun to, to have a, a a sketch on a Wednesday evening with you. Um, Little Birds just sent this in. Oh, that was that that first sketch, wasn't it? I loved that. That's really nicely done. Some great sketches. Re oh, look at this. Yeah, the, again, that shape really showing the form. Fantastic. Thanks so much for sending it in. Good, that final one's lovely. Um, there's another one there. I don't want to miss that. Ferran Dex. Sorry, I can't. What's what's the Ferrandi Ferrandi Atkinson art? Oh, love this. Oh, bringing in a little bit of coloured pencil, a little bit of something else. And look at them lines wrapping around. You know, going around that form. Everything. We were talking about and you've and even the even the block of the feet you know really well done um and you know if you just keep doing this you know keep analyzing the 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 forms as you draw 
Uh, so we're not just we're not just copying the picture, but imagining the 3D forms and analyzing, you know, seeing how we can describe them with as little as possible. Um, that will really help you improve. Okay, because not only are you getting used to the anatomy, not only are you, are you learning uh, uh, the, the forms, um, but you're you're going to be so much more descriptive and aware of of what's there. You know, your 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 pencil is you're going to make so much so many more kind of better and more economic decisions in your drawing. So, guys, thanks so much. Um, it's been a good evening. Um, yeah, please like the stream and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in a video soon. I just want to say next week, uh, not next week, in two weeks time, having a break next week, but in two weeks time, we're going to be doing master studies. Okay, so we've got, we're going to get some um, classical, uh, sorry, um, Renaissance artists, and we're going to have a look at their work and, and really kind of dissect it and, and, uh, and take it apart. And master studies, you know, it might seem funny copying or, or the drawing after someone, but actually if there was any cheat codes in drawing, master studies is the cheat code. Okay, you you learn so much from following and, and um, uh, trying to imitate uh, these master artists' lines and their shading and their hatching and all sorts that you you almost, you know, it's almost magic. You take on their power. Um, so I, I'm really looking forward to that in a couple of weeks time. That's the 9th of December, I believe. Let's have a look. Yeah, 9th of December on the 7th. Um, and then after that, maybe we'll do a Christmas stream or something. But I really recommend it because we're, we're going to look at a load of different um, Renaissance artists, master artists, and, and really kind of suck them drive all that power you know we're going to we're going to assimilate all that power and uh, and put it into our own drawings uh, hopefully as well so it's a really good really good thing to do i hope to see you there spread the word if you've enjoyed spread the word about the stream and the channel and uh, and thank you have a good evening have a good week thanks terry great to see you thanks teresa brilliant thank you thank you everyone and thanks, Max, for helping me set up today as well. <laughs> cool. See you, everyone. Have a good evening.